welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. I'm out on a Texas ranch right now where a bunker was installed about 10 years ago. And uh, I'm gonna take you on a drive-by just to show you how concealed it is because once you bury your bunker, uh, the trees will grow back. And it's amazing how much it can uh, get lost <laughs> to where nobody would see it. No one would even suspect it. So I'm gonna show you this particular bunker that's hidden in these trees and you tell me if you can see it. So let's say you're the bad guys and you're looking for people <clears throat> in a bunker. How the hell are you gonna find them? So of course, the more acres you got, the more trees you got, the better you can hide it. But um, we'll go looking for it. Now it's spring and uh, everything's green. So when in winter, when all this green is down, um, probably easier to find all this stuff. But uh, when the foliage is up, I'm telling you, you ain't gonna spot these things. I'd say there's a bunker out there, but uh, there is. Let's go look for it. So as I was telling you guys, this got buried like 10 years ago, um, at least 10 years ago, seems like. And uh, I think we're all gonna be pretty impressed how much this thing's gonna be concealed now. Now keep in mind, it's just out in the middle of a field. See all these trees in here? Just a bunch of trees, that's all it is. So anyway, I'm gonna back up because it's actually over in that clump of trees over there. So I'm gonna do a drive by Let's say I'm the bad guy, somebody shooting at me or somebody shooting at them. And they come out here and they're like, where the hell are these people hiding at? They see some water because you always want to be near a water source so that's about 100 yards 100 meters away there's a pvc line that runs from that windmill in that water that runs underground over to this bunker so these trees all grew up after the bunker was installed because there was absolutely zero here when the bunker was installed in the ground nothing now those might have been here or that one big one might have been there yeah it was there the one big one coming up over here that one was here that was the only tree that i remember that was here when this bunker got installed see there's a little bit of the scrap culvert pipe right there it was left over feels bumpy. It's got all those little sand dunes in it. See, I can see under them trees and there's the first sign of a bunker right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Right there. That's the old style uh, air pipe that comes from an AT&T bunker. So, right in the middle of all them trees is a 50 foot long bunker. So how would anybody know that? There's three dead cows. I wonder what killed these cows. I don't really know, but it looks like this one kinda tore up the dirt first. So that's it, guys. So you get the idea. The longer your bunker's in the ground, the better it's gonna be concealed if you can do it in some place that's got growth in trees. So, oh, man, that smells. That is a putrid smell from them dead cows. That is horrible. Okay. 
Okay, I'm getting out of here. Guys, hey, thanks for contacting me. I'm Ron at Atlas Survival Shelters. I would put nothing but the best NBC air filtration systems in your bunker to protect, you, to protect your family. What I have right in front of me is Swiss and Israeli air filtration systems, okay? What you have to do to keep your family alive, you have to create so much suction in your bunker to pull air in and take carbon dioxide out. If you don't do that, you could go sleep in a bunker and die. So I have a giant centrifugal pump with this large motor. The only thing my competition is putting in their bunkers is that tiny little cheap fan. So if you see one of these plastic air systems, like I'm pointing at right now, run. The only thing inside there is this little DC motor, this little plastic fan. I'm telling you, stay away from it. Keep your family alive and keep watching me on YouTube. I'll help save you some money and I'll save your family's lives. Guys, I hope you enjoyed another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. You know, it's kind of a quickie, but I want to show you what a bunker would look like after 10 years. So, hey, listen, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll be bringing you some pretty cool bunkers in the near future.